my really attractive tan lines are <laughs> very much on display today. Wow. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing an eyeshadow palette declutter because yesterday I uploaded my beauty room tour and I also showed you guys inside my makeup collection and when I showed you guys my eyeshadow palettes, I said that I really want to do an eyeshadow declutter because it's gotten a little bit out of control and I definitely don't use everything here. So it's always nice to, you know, do a little refresh every once in a while. And a lot of you guys were saying in the comments that you really, really want to see it. Like I got so many comments telling me that uh, I need to do an eyeshadow declutter yesterday, basically. <laughs> so we are here and we are going to get it done, baby. I am going to be harsh. By the way, I just want to say, even though the title of this video says eyeshadow palettes, I am throwing out. I am not throwing all these out whatsoever. I am going to be donating them to either women's shelters or friends and family. So yeah, I just want to put that out there because I didn't want there to be outrage in the comments that I was throwing out all these palettes because wasn't planning on doing that. It was just, I was being a little dramatic in the title. It's okay. So I really hope you guys are going to enjoy today's video. Don't forget to let me know all of your thoughts down below as per usual. And let me know some of your thoughts on the palettes that I'm going to be talking about today. Do you love them? Do you hate them? Have you decluttered recently? And what are some of the palettes that you got rid of? I would really, really love to know. Without further ado, friends, let's get started. So I have all of my eyeshadow palettes separated into different bins. So starting off, with the first over here. Okay, so let's first start off with something that I definitely know I'm going to keep, and that is my Tarte Tarlet and Bloom palette. This is probably one of my favorite neutral palettes. I've used this thing to death. I actually haven't taken it out of my collection in a while, just because I, at one point it was the only thing I was using, and I wanted to give some of my other palettes some love, but this is one of my favorites because it really does have sort of like everything you need all in one palette. You've got some really great mattes, some very basic shades, and great shimmers. It's not like a crazy out-of-the-box palette, but it really is amazing for every day, and I love the packaging. I love traveling with this because it's, since it is a hard case, it doesn't it's not gonna break. So next up I have these limited edition NARS eyeshadow palettes. This is from one of their new collections. It's really funny because I was just recently watching Sam's video and she was talking about makeup products that she would never throw out and these eyeshadow palettes were in that list. She said that even though she doesn't use the actual eyeshadows in here, she is solely keeping the eyeshadow palettes because the packaging is so gorgeous and I have to totally agree the packaging on these palettes are absolutely beautiful but I can't do what Sam did. I can't just keep this just for the packaging because it's wasting space. This over here is a lip powder palette and I personally really, really do not enjoy lip palettes. I don't really find them to be very convenient because you also have to like use a brush to apply them. It's a little bit more of like a process than just taking a lipstick and putting it on your lips. So even though this is a gorgeous palette, it's something that I'm definitely going to give away and because I've actually never touched this, this is going to be a perfect, perfect palette for me to donate. So I'm going to give this one away and same thing goes with the eyeshadow palette. Shades in here really just don't excite me at all. They're very, very cool toned and I find like these three shades over here look very similar to one another and they're just not shades that I would see myself wearing. That wasn't so bad. Good job, Jamie. I'm starting to get on a roll now. I'm feeling good. Okay, let's move on to this Stila Matte and Metal Eyeshadow Palette. This is actually a palette that I have not used in the longest time. What we're gonna do is if I haven't used a palette like genuinely for months, then it's probably a good sign and it's a good little push to uh, give it away. Even though the shades in here are really pretty, they're so muted. Like the metallic shades, I feel like could be just a little bit brighter, have a little bit more punch, and the matte shades, I also wish were just a little bit more, I don't wish that they were more like vibrant, but I just wish they had a little bit more of like a punch to them because these types of colors I find oftentimes like don't, Really look like much on the eye so this is gonna be a palette that I'm going to give away the Tartlet toasted as well as the Tartlet original gonna be keeping both of these just like the Tartlet in bloom I really do like these palettes I love the color combination especially in the toasted it's really pretty so I'm gonna be keeping all three of my Tartlet palettes <laughs> I like did not finish my sentence there. Next up I have three ColourPop palettes. The My Little Pony, this is the You Have Me at Hello, and then the Element of Surprise. I am going to be decluttering them, not because I don't like them. I actually do really like the ColourPop single eyeshadows. They're really, really pretty. They're just not really palettes that I reach for very often. Like for example, this My Little Pony palette, 
Even though the colors in here are interesting, it's not really a palette that I find to be very cohesive. So decluttering. Wow, I've decluttered more than I've kept so far. We're doing good. Moving on to uh, some Anastasia eyeshadow palettes. First up, we've got Modern Renaissance. This is one of my all-time favorite palettes. I love the selection of shades here. I've said this before, but I really think that Anastasia did a really, really great job with this palette because this was released when a lot of warm palettes were very, very on trend, even though, of course, they are still on trend. There was a point where they were really just exploding. And I feel like the Modern Renaissance was a little bit of a different take on the warm tone palette. Like, you have some really beautiful and unique shades here like these raspberry shades over here are really just everything they're so gorgeous and the quality of Anastasia eyeshadows are beautiful so I'm totally keeping this it's one of my favorites subculture there was so much controversy around this palette at the time of its release it was like insane it was like subculture gate <laughs> people were going crazy over this thing and I actually did not hate this palette at all. There were, it was definitely a learning curve when it came to this palette. Like you couldn't go in with your brush and like dig your brush into the powders because otherwise, yes, you would get a lot of kick pack, you would get a lot of pigment on your brush and it would be difficult to use. So there was a bit of like an adjustment that you would have to make with this palette in order to make it work. You would just have to use a very, very light hand and keep that in mind when you were using it. But I feel like for me, if I did make those adjustments, this palette worked perfectly fine and I really love the combination of shades in here. Again, it's a really unique palette. There's really nothing else that I have like it in my collection, so I'm definitely gonna be keeping it, and it's not a palette that I ever hated, so keeping it. This is one of their older palettes. This is the Shadow Couture. I'm going to get rid of this just because I feel like I have most of these shades in here in the other palettes that I am going to keep, and it's also pretty old, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. Oh, the Mario palette. I'm definitely gonna be keeping this one. This is another really great, just like neutral palette. Every time I would ask you guys like what eyeshadows you wanted to see me do, it would always be the Mario palette from Anastasia, so this is definitely a really popular palette. It has really nice neutrals in here, and I think everything that you need to create a full look, so I am gonna keep it in my collection for sure. I am, however, going to get rid of the self-made palette, which looks like this, and I'm also gonna get rid of the artist palette because, like I said, I really feel like I have all of these shades somewhere in the um, Anastasia palettes that I am keeping. And I feel like the self-made palette, for me, was probably one of my least favorite palettes that they released. I just didn't find it to be a very cohesive palette. like. There's not a lot of shades in here that you could use to create a full look. Ah, the Fenty Galaxy palette. This was a limited edition palette that Fenty released in the winter time. And to be honest, the only reason why I bought this whole collection was to review it for you guys. So I don't think if I wasn't doing that review that I would actually purchase this on my own because even though this is a beautiful palette and the shades in here are super unique and cool and it's really unlike everything else that I really have, these are not shades that I often put on my eyeballs. <laughs> like I don't really go totally out there with my makeup. I'm much more of a neutral gal. and I find if I'm ever gonna use a bright color, I typically go for pigments because they give so much more intensity than pressed eyeshadows. So even though this is a very pretty palette and I did enjoy using it. It's gonna be a palette that I'm gonna get rid of just because I know I'm never gonna use this again. And there's something about limited edition palettes that I don't love for me personally. YouTube is my job and talking about makeup is my job. I don't love keeping limited edition products because I feel like I'm never really able to use them again on my channel once they leave forever because you guys aren't able to get them. I would so much rather talk about products that are permanent that you guys could always get because otherwise it could be a little bit frustrating if you're watching a video and the only products you use are limited edition and you can't get them anymore. So I always have that in the back of my mind when it does come to limited edition palettes. So I'm gonna get rid of it also for that reason. K -k -k Kylie palettes. This is the bronze palette. It wasn't mind blowing, no. I mean, it's a warm, neutral palette, but it's pretty and I feel like it's almost part of makeup history a little bit. So I am going to keep that one. Ah, uh, Viseart palettes. These... Oh man, I don't know. So this is the dark matte palette and I bought this thinking that I would use this so, so much. The Viseart palettes or the Viseart palettes, however you say them, are definitely palettes that are super hyped up on YouTube, or at least they used to be. People were always saying that they were like the best eyeshadows ever, and don't get me wrong, they are really, really nice eyeshadows. They apply well, they blend well, but they're not really anything 
crazy different or crazy special compared to the other palettes that I have in my collection. Like they're good, but they're not really worth their very, very, very high price tag in my opinion. This is not a palette that I ever really reach for, but because it is so unique, but still wearable in its own way, I do want to keep this. And I feel like I haven't given it enough of a chance yet, even though I've had this for years. So I am going to keep this. Ooh, it, this is tough. If there was like a middle category of things that like I know I'm get, getting rid of, I know I'm I'm keeping and then right in the middle, that one would go right in the middle. Like I'm just not 100% sure, but I think I'm going to keep it. Okay, this is another limited edition product um, from Marc Jacobs. This is the Wild One palette. Even though I love, love Marc Jacobs eyeshadows, again, this is limited edition, so I don't ever really see myself using this on camera. And I just find the color combination in this palette to be super random and all over the place. It's not as cohesive as their like other palettes that they have, which always have such beautiful color stories. Like the color story for this one just doesn't doesn't give it to me. It doesn't doesn't speak to me. This over here is a Rimmel Spice eyeshadow palette that I recently fit featured in one of my videos and we were all very shocked to find out that this is an exact copy essentially of the Urban Decay Naked Heat. I am going to keep this because I feel like this could come in handy in a future video. And it's also a great option for the Naked Heat palette if you don't want to spend like 60 bucks on an eyeshadow palette. Just saying. We've got some bougie palettes here. I have a Tom Ford one, a Charlotte Tilbury one, and a Dior one. So I am definitely going to keep this Dior one. This was actually a gift from Miss Alana Rama. We did this video a long time ago where she bought my makeup and, hi and I bought her makeup, but it didn't end up working out in the end. Like the footage got a little bit messed up, but this was one of the things that she did get me. Even though this isn't really a palette that I reach for that often, it's like, it holds a special place in my heart now, so I'm not gonna get rid of it and I'm gonna keep it. Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows really are not my favorite. I haven't really ever tried one of their quads that I absolutely love. I think that their eyeshadows are like fine and okay, but they're just, I don't know, nothing really too special, so I am gonna get rid of this one. And then I have this Tom Ford palette. I'm not getting rid of this. I don't even care if I use it or if I don't use it. This was just so freaking expensive and I hate that I spent money on it, but I, I'm just, I can't get rid of it, guys. I'm so sorry. I just can't. <laughs> I have three of these really fun One Wild palettes. I am going to be keeping all three of them just because they're so freaking cute. All three of these are limited edition, unfortunately, but it's from a recent collection. So if you are interested in picking these up, I think that they're really, really cute and the colors are super fun. This one in particular is so pretty. You have Stop Ruffling My Feathers. The one with the blue is called... Uh, Hasta la Costa Baby and then the one with the raspberry is called Flock Party Which is the one that I use and it was very 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 pretty. I have my little quad from Mac and Patrick Star This is something that I'm 100% going to be keeping I actually used to keep this quad in my vanity and use it on an everyday basis Next up we have this palette from Too Faced. This is the natural eyes palette I'm pretty sure they like completely revamped their natural eyes eyeshadow palettes that they used to have this is one of them. I know I have used this and the eyeshadows work really, really well in here, but because this is such a basic palette, I just don't really feel like it's worth it for me to keep it because I have so many other eyeshadow palettes that have probably the exact same colors. And I just don't really see the appeal of keeping this one in my collection, even though it's nice, it's just not really something that I think is worth keeping for me. So I am going to get rid of that one. First bucket is done, so now let's move on to this little guy over here, which holds some of my larger palettes. So first things first, we've got Manny's Lunar Beauty Eyeshadow Palette. This is the Life's a Drag palette. I very recently got this. I've been testing it out and I love this palette. I think that Manny did a really, really great job with this. I love the fact that this palette has a mix of neutrals, some like neutral shimmers, and then some really intense bright colors. I really don't have any other palettes that have this type of like combination of shades. And I love the formulation of the eyeshadow, so of course, of course, I'm gonna be keeping this one. Next up, I have my Urban Decay Naked Heat. This was the only, only naked palette that I actually kept. I got rid of my one, two, three, and smoky palette because I never used those, and those were the palettes that I kept on getting rid of, taking back, getting rid of, taking back. This one, however, is my favorite naked palettes of them all. What the other palettes were lacking, in my opinion, were uh, mattes. And this palette has a really nice selection of mattes. Mattes are always the most important for any eyeshadow palette because it's really what's going to, you know, be the foundation blocks for the rest of your eye look. And I think the color combination also in this palette is really beautiful. So 
totally keeping this one. So the Kat Von D Mi Vita Loca, this is probably one of the only um, limited edition palettes that I cannot get rid of because I actually come back to this palette quite often. Um, as you can see, there is quite the selection of bright shades in here. The Kat Von D eyeshadows are probably some of my favorite eyeshadow formulas. I love the way that they apply and blend. They're like, look at this blue, just for example. Whenever I do want to do any type of bright eyeshadow look, I almost always will bring this one out and use it. So yeah, it's just such a great one. I really hope that one day they come back out with at least something similar to this because it was so great because it had the brights and then it had like the neutrals in the center. So if you really wanted to create a full eye look with this palette, like you totally could. So next up I have my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I am going to be keeping this. It's probably one of my top three favorite Morphe palettes. And then I have the 35O palette from Morphe and the 3502. I'm going to get rid of the 35O because these are so similar, like you don't need to keep both of them. And I think if you were to compare them both, the 3502 has a little bit more variety of colors. I think the shades in here definitely have way more of like a punch to them and I think that they're just a little bit prettier and then I have two more Morphe palettes in like the newer packaging I prefer this packaging so much more than this packaging oh my god it's so much better uh, this one over here is a 24 G oh yeah I'm totally gonna be keeping this one I actually really really love uh, the shade selection here this I feel like this is the perfect eyeshadow palette for the fall time I just feel like the shades in here really really scream fall this one in particular like that pink one is so pretty so I am gonna be keeping this one and then I have the dare to create 39 a eyeshadow palette and I think this is going to be another one that I'm going to keep just because not only do you have neutrals in here but you have some like pretty purples and blues and greens next up we have the smashbox this is the cover shot matte eye palette and even though the front of this palette is so cool I love the little graphic this is basically just like a muted neutral matte palette and honestly those are probably my least favorite types of eyeshadow palettes just to be very frank I just find them to be very very boring so this is one that I am definitely going to be getting rid of oh I love this palette this is the Nabla dreamy eyeshadow palette I don't know why I just got like so heartwarmed when I saw this but I love this palette I love Nabla eyeshadows I think they are really underrated more people should be talking about them they're very very good and I love this palette I think that the color combination is very unique heart clay play this is another one of my all-time favorite palettes there was a point where I could not shut up about this thing like I swear I probably mentioned it in like 30 videos in a row um, it's one of my favorite neutral palettes it really just has everything that you need all one place Smells like chocolate. What more can you ask for? We got another Natasha Denona palette. This is one of the larger palettes. It's the Lila Lila palette. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it. It's one of my favorite Natasha Denona palettes. I love a good purple color scheme. Just want to show you guys like how gorgeous the Natasha Denona metallics are. Look at that. That's the pink. This is the copper. It's so pretty. Oh, it's a really good one. So moving on to some Too Faced palettes. Um, okay. Let's let's get real here. I don't use any of these anymore. I feel like these are almost like makeup junkie basics. <laughs> like I find it very very hard to get rid of these even though I don't really use them. Again, this would go in like the middle pile of like, I don't really know if I'm gonna keep this, I don't really know if I'm gonna get rid of it. I feel like these are good palettes to keep for my job because they're good palettes to go back to and reference in case I ever need to. So I think because of that reason I am going to keep them, but if you're curious and you want to know if I use them, I don't really, but I'm gonna keep them just in case because you never know, you never know. So next up I have this NARS palette. This is another limited edition palette from a while ago. This is a very like strange cool tone palette. All, a lot of the shades in here look very similar to one another. Like these three shades look super similar. These three shades look super similar. These two shades look really similar. It doesn't inspire me. So I am going to get rid of it. I am definitely going to be keeping all of my Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes. I love these so much, especially for traveling. These are so great because they're so teeny, teeny, tiny, but you get like nine eyeshadows in each one and such a nice variety of shades as well. Like you have some mattes, you have some shimmers. I also like that they're not like super basic eyeshadow palettes. All time favorite for sure is the Smoky Obsessions one, which is this one right over here. This is another classic that I love. One of my favorite neutral eyeshadow palettes. If you want like just a great basic neutral eyeshadow palette, this is your guy, the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. It is everything that you need. All the shades in here are matte, so they're super, super versatile. I recommend this over the years to so many people, and everybody always comes back and says that they love it. It's just, it's a palette that works super well. Like I said, the Kat Von D eyeshadows are some of my 
faves. I am going to declutter these two Jouer palettes. Um, they're pretty, the eyeshadows in here work well, but you guys probably were able to see that I have like maybe 30 different eyeshadow palettes that have this exact eyeshadow color combination and I just don't feel like I need another. So that's why I'm getting rid of this one. And this one is just another one that I don't really find myself reaching for and it's also limited edition. So for those reasons, you're out. <laughs> Definitely going to be keeping my melt stack. These melt eyeshadows are so so beautiful. I feel like I don't really use them as much as I should because of their format. Even though the format is so cool how it like stacks up like this, I find because of that they're just not like ones that I reach for a ton, but the quality of the eyeshadows are fantastic. I think I have like two stacks in here. I have the Love Six stack, I believe, which has like the purple, the blue, uh, we've got the red and this peach and then I have the rust stack which has like such beautiful like warm rusty shades so you have this like really nice transition shade this amazing mustard which is like one of my favorites this just like creamy shade warm brown and dark deep brown that's like such a nice little combo okay I am going to be definitely getting rid of my Huda Beauty uh, textured eyeshadow palette, the rose gold eyeshadow palette. I just don't really like this palette. I don't like these shades up here. Very difficult to use. You get so much follow whenever you do try and use them. And I just don't love the mattes and how they apply and blend and all that. So I'm going to be getting rid of this one. I'm going to be keeping my Shayla and ColourPop palette. I think Shayla did such an awesome job with this palette. I love the combination of colors in here. You really have a little bit of everything. You have some blues, purples, like oranges, neutrals, golds, and I have yet to actually use it. So I'm definitely looking forward to trying that out and I'm keeping it obviously we're almost done so this bin actually has most of my single eyeshadows in here which I'm not going to go through so I'm actually just gonna take those out and let's see what's left in here so I have two more Natasha Denona palettes a sunset palette which is another one of my favorites mine took a little tumble and this shade right over here cracked a little bit which was very heartbreaking i also have the star palette from natasha denona also keeping this one not much else to say about it i have the willpower now to get rid of my lorac pro palettes i don't know why i've been holding on for these for so long because i literally never touched these i think i just felt guilty because i overpaid for these so so much um one of these i bought off of amazon for like triple the price because at the time i wasn't able to get this in um canada so that's why I think I haven't gotten rid of it for a really long time, but I think it's finally time because I just don't use it. Oh, I love, love this one from NYX. This is such a cool palette. This is the metal palette from the NYX In Your Element collection, and the shades in here are so like intense and beautiful. Like, look at this. Look at that. Look at look at that metallic sheen. It's beautiful. I'm definitely going to be keeping these. I think this is a great palette to have on hand for sure. I am definitely gonna be getting rid of these super old Wet n Wild palettes. I've had these for literal years. <laughs> this one is the Comfort Zone. It's a classic and poster child, which has all these brights. This CoverGirl True Naked palette is actually a really, really, really good palette. I love the shades in here. It has like all these like beautiful golden olive tones. This her brown eyes is so beautiful and the quality of the eyeshadows are actually really good. So I'm gonna be keeping this. This is one of my all time favorite drugstore eyeshadow palettes. It's the Pixie and it's Judy Time palette. I think that if you are looking for a really great affordable eyeshadow palette from the drugstore, this is a really great option. The eyeshadow pants in here are also huge, which is great. And has a really nice mix of mattes in it as well. This is another super unique palette from NYX. This is the Air version from the In Your Element collection. All the shades in here are really, really cool. You have a bunch of pastel shades. I think I'm going to keep this just to have these types of shades in my collection because I don't really have anything else quite like it. I'm going to be keeping all of these City Mini palettes from Maybelline. I love all these palettes. I think that they work really, really well. And I also like the little color stories that each one has. There's like more of a coral one, a green one, a neutral brown, and then a purple. Guys, I just realized that I completely forgot to show my Marc Jacobs palettes because they're in a separate part of my little storage unit, so I just forgot to take them out, but you guys know how much I love those. I'm keeping every single one. I just wanted to put this little insert in here in case you were wondering since I did forget them.
Oops. <laughs> That's everything. I'm actually pretty happy with the amount of palettes that I ended up decluttering. I'm going to show you guys a little clip of the palettes that I am decluttering and, and then the palettes that I am keeping. Now it is time to reorganize all these palettes into their bins again. So guys, this is the discards pile. These are all the palettes that I'm either going to be donating or giving away to friends and family. And then... These are the completely reorganized little bins of the palettes that I am keeping. So we basically went down from four, four little like organizers to three. And that's it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to let me know all of your thoughts down below. Give me a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.